Attention Luminar Neo users. Have you ever encountered a frustrating issue while using the software and you couldn't find the answer anywhere? Perhaps you're missing one or more of the tools or you have some error messages. If you've experienced any of those and other issues while using Luminar Neo, then you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor. And in this video, you'll see five of the most common issues and how to fix them. So if you're ready to end your frustrations, let's get started. One of the most common things that I see posted in groups is that the catalog tools are missing. You check for updates and sure enough, you have the most recent version of Luminar Neo, but where are your catalog tools? They should be here on the right hand side. There's a simple solution for this, but it's easy to miss. Up here in the top right corner, you'll see this icon right below the export button. When you click it, it hides and shows the right hand panel. It's that simple. But like I said, it's a tiny little button and it's not clear what that button does. So if you're missing this panel entirely and all of the tools, just click this guy right here and they will show up again. As a side note, I wish there was a way to hide the left hand side panel so I could just see the thumbnails, but currently there isn't a way to do that. The second thing I see a lot of questions about is regarding the tools in the latest update. I have the latest update, but where are my tools? Well, if you're looking for the restoration tool, it's right here at the bottom under upscale. If you don't see the tool there and you know for sure that your Luminar version is up to date, check your account. You do that by clicking on account. And if you're using Windows, you'll find the pull down menu under the logo. So account, your name, and you'll be taken to the Skyland website to your profile. If you're not logged in, just do that in the upper right corner. When you're on my software, you'll see the type of license and how long it's active for here. If you have a lifetime license, that means that you bought the program outright at a particular date and you own all the tools for that year. If you bought it prior to June 2025 and you want these new tools, you do need to buy an upgrade pass. If you need to do that, use my discount code DPM10 to get 10% off when you check out. If you want to have access to Luminar Spaces and cross-device editing so you can send edits from your phone to your desktop, remember to get the pass that includes the ecosystem. Then just update the software again and you should see the new tools. You'll find the spaces down at the bottom under albums and you'll find a new one at the top from Luminar Mobile. There you could see the images that I brought in from my phone and the edits that I applied on the phone have come across. That's part of the cross device editing in the ecosystem. Another common issue is missing tools. I see people post often about a particular tool that they're looking for that all of a sudden is poof, gone. The most common reason for this is it's been added to your favorites. You'll notice at the top here is favorites. Each of these panels that are named in gray are collapsible. So you can fold them up and just use one at a time. If I'm looking for something in the creative panel, for example, mood and mystical, you see that they're not here. They are indeed missing from this section. However, if we go up to the top and expand my favorites panel, there they are, along with glow and color harmony. I put these here because it's easier to get to them at the top because they are indeed ones that I use a lot. So just remember that when you add a tool to your favorites, it's no longer in the original location. I actually wish that they would leave it there and put it in favorites, but that's not how it works currently. So you have to know that if you've added one to your favorites, it's up here. You might have done so accidentally. To add something to favorites, you just have to right click and choose add to favorites. And now you'll see it appear up here. To remove it, just right click again and click remove from favorites. 
notice it put it back under essentials. I put color harmony here as well because that's in the professional section all the way at the bottom and I don't want to have to scroll so much to get to it. Another thing I see posted is that the noiseless AI and super sharp are also missing. They are under the image quality section. They have moved from their original location. So if you were looking for them at the top previously, you will find them here. You can also find noiseless raw at the bottom over here. So you can always get to noiseless raw and develop raw at the very bottom of your edits or history panel. Before I continue to number four, let me just take a little side note. If you want more complete and in-depth Luminar learning, check out my complete course. You'll learn how to use every tool in Luminar Neo one by one. Each lesson builds on the previous, so your skills grow as you advance in the course. You also get all the raw files demonstrated in the lessons so you can follow along, as well as several other bonuses. There's a link to the course in the description area below. Check it out. The fourth most common frustration is orange warnings on your folders, like these here. If you see an orange triangle with an exclamation point like this, what it means is that that folder is missing or Luminar Neo cannot see it. In this case, my folders that are marked with this error are on an external drive that's currently not mounted to the computer. If you have moved folders while Luminar is closed or renamed them, Luminar can also lose track of them. It's looking for the folders in the original place, so it might be fooled. In order to fix this problem, if the folders have just been moved or renamed, just right click, choose locate folder, and then find the location where the new folder is and choose it. That will relink the folder and get rid of the errors. In my case, all I need to do is plug in the drive and they will appear again. Stay tuned. Let me do that now. Okay, I just plugged it in and we should see these messages disappear as soon as the drive is active. Et voila. So no need to freak out. If you see those error messages, it's usually one of those two things. You either need to locate the folder and relink it or plug in a drive that's currently not active. The final frustration that I see a lot is actually regarding the AI tools, either restoration if you're doing a large file and it's taking quite a while, or you've put something into one of the generative tools at the top here. If you get an error message that pops up and it says can't connect to server, what that means is these tools require the Skylum server to do their job. So that also means internet connection. What's really happening under the hood is you're sending your image through the internet to Skylum. So any bottlenecks along the way can cause that problem. You need to know the speed of connectivity that you have to your host. On the other end, Skylum server might just be busy. So at popular times of day, or for example, when they drop a brand new tool like restoration and everybody's trying it at once, it could create a bit of a log jam and slow down the server. Personally, I haven't had that error message show up. I have a really fast internet, so I have not had a problem with it. I was actually in a Zoom meeting the other day and demonstrating the restoration tool at the same time, and I had absolutely no issues. Both Zoom calls and using the generative tools are fairly internet dependent. Use this handy tool to check your internet speed. Just click go and it will read the speed for uploading and downloading based on your current internet connection. You can see mine reading on the screen now. The higher the number, the better. You can see that mine is over 900 megabytes per second. That's pretty good. If you find that yours are under 100, either upload or download, that could be causing the problem. You might want to contact your carrier and see if you're due for an upgrade. At one point, we were paying for one gigabyte in our house and only getting 250 megabytes. We called our service provider and something was switched wrong on our account on their end. Once they fixed it, we had the speed that we had paid for. 
So check with your carrier. If there's an upgrade, take that and make sure you're getting what you paid for. The bottom line is the problem doesn't always lie on Skylum's end. It's about connectivity to the internet. So check all the variables. If you'd like to get a copy of our free Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet, that's a tongue twister, there's a link for you in the description area below. So have you experienced any of those issues in Luminar Neo? I hope the solutions provided in this video help you out. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you found it valuable. And if you'd like to watch another video here on my YouTube channel, click one on the screen now. Until next time, take care.